The film begins in 2077. Repair technician Jack dreams of a pre-war life with an unknown woman. He wakes up from the dream next to communications officer Victoria, five years after Jack and Victoria's memories have been wiped, unable to account for his dreams. The two appear to be the last people left on Earth. In this future, scavenger aliens escaping their dying planet destroyed the moon and invaded Earth. Although humans won the war, the use of nuclear weaponry left the Earth uninhabitable. The surviving humanity had to leave the Earth and migrate to Titan, Saturn's largest moon, and left behind the Tet, a space station orbiting Earth. While back on Earth, Jack repairs combat drones that hunt the remaining scavengers and guard the hydrothermal platforms that convert seawater into fusion energy. Within two weeks, Jack and Victoria will be departing for Saturn's moon Titan to join colonists there. But Jack is still sentimental about Earth. He descends to Earth on his ship to oversee the drones and hydrothermal platforms, while guided by Victoria from above. Two drones appear offline. The information is reported to Sally, the commander aboard the Tet. Jack travels through lightning clouds to reach his objective, but one lightning strike shuts his system down, causing him to freefall before Jack manages to maintain control. Locating the malfunctioned drone and seeing no scavenger activity, Jack descends and goes to fix the drone, while Victoria watches from above. As he does so, Jack tells Victoria about the last Super Bowl game played in America before the war. A dog surprises him from behind, and the drone activates, scanning all moving creatures in the vicinity before leaving. Because the other drone does not have a beacon, Jack brings out a motorcycle to search for it on the ground. He eventually locates it in a sinkhole, but Victoria has no visual on it. Furthermore, Tet will go offline in 15 minutes, leaving Jack on his own. Armed, he decides to descend the sinkhole, while a figure watches. The place is revealed to be the New York Public Library's ruins, and Jack navigates it to reach the last drone, which is covered by a sheet. Jack removes the sheet, only to reveal a globe, and is caught in a scavenger trap that pulls at his leg. Jack recovers his footing and fights his way to his grapple hook, shooting his way to the exit, but the grapple line severs, causing him to fall back and drop his gun. As Jack pulls out his pistol for a desperate fight, the drone returns, shooting at every moving scavenger. It targets Jack again, terrifying him, but leaves. Jack picks up a book and climbs his way out of the sinkhole, to discover his bike is stolen. He makes his way to his ship and flies towards their safe house. After a shower, Jack reads the book, which is revealed to be a poetry book. He gives Victoria the status report and offers her a flower, but she drops it back to Earth, citing the possibility of it carrying a toxin from the contaminated planet. At night, while the two are eating dinner, Victoria is happy about their escape from Earth in two weeks. But Jack tells her that he thinks the scavengers were not trying to kill him but capture him. In response, Victoria goes outside and calls him inside the swimming pool. Jack tells her that he wants to take her to Earth one last time before they leave. The following morning, they wake up to the sound of an explosion and learn that a platform is destroyed. While Jack is investigating the site, he captures a foreign signal leaving Earth. As Jack goes to investigate, Sally reminds Victoria to protect the other platforms. Jack discovers that the scavengers are radioing coordinates from the Empire State Building's antenna and sending the transmission into space. Armed, he goes inside to investigate and discovers the source, but the coordinates lead to an empty place. He cuts the signal and goes out to investigate. Because the signal is leading to a place with high radiation, Victoria warns Jack not to pursue it, but he goes offline and visits an area that sustains vegetation and has a lake with fish and potable water. A lakeside cabin he built, with electricity from solar panels, is filled with mementos of Earth's past. He places the poetry book there, listens to some music, plays basketball, and drinks the lake's water. While he's resting, he's woken up by more dreams of pre-war life, and hears an object falling from the sky, which is going to the coordinates. Jack goes out to investigate. Sally warns Victoria not to and lets the drones handle it, but Jack refuses to, and Ted goes offline again. Jack thinks the object is human-made and pre-war, and despite Victoria's protests, he lands to investigate. Through the wreckage, Jack finds five humans in sleep pods. As he goes for the last survivor, Jack is shocked to discover the woman from his dreams, in critical condition. A drone destroys four pods, and as it targets the last one, Jack prevents it from killing the woman, even shoots at it, and takes her to his and Victoria's aerial base. A scavenger watches him from a sniper, but another scavenger prevents him from shooting Jack. Jack tells Victoria to tell Tet that their drone killed four humans. The woman wakes up in a fit of vomits, and calls Jack out by his name, before passing out again. The woman wakes up in a disoriented state, and is revealed to be Julia, 
a NASA astronaut who has been in stasis aboard the Odyssey spaceship for the past 60 years. Julia is shocked and tries to go back to her ship, but Victoria restrains her and tries to administer a sedative, but Jack and Julia tell her not to. Jack questions Julia about her mission, but Julia says it's classified until she recovers Odyssey's flight recorder. They tell her about the wars with the scavengers and the Earth's current state, and Julia finds it baffling. In private, when Jack questions Victoria whether she remembers Julia in her pre-wipe memories, Victoria reminds him that a scavenger beacon brought her to Earth, and her identity is suspect. She wants her gone from their base. Meanwhile, a scavenger arrives at the bottom of their aerial base. In the morning, while Victoria is asleep, Julia convinces Jack to come with her to retrieve the Odyssey's flight recorder, to know what happened. Victoria wakes up and warns Jack that she can't protect him, and Jack accepts the responsibility and goes offline. They reach the crash site, and Julia is horrified at the remains of other astronauts. As Julia looks for her flight recorder, movement is picked up by Victoria, but her warnings don't reach Jack. She locates the recorder, but they're attacked by scavengers, and Jack sends his ship away before they are captured. When Sally calls from Tet, Victoria doesn't tell her about the situation, but requests a drone for surveillance, saying Jack went offline. A drone goes in pursuit. Jack wakes up in Raven Rock Mountain Complex, tied to a chair. Scavenger leader Malcolm, a human, quotes a poem from Jack's poetry book, tells him that he's been watching him, and asks him if he's looking for his lost memories in the books, but Jack doesn't answer. Malcolm turns on the lights and reveals that the scavengers are disguised human survivors hiding from the drones. He tells Jack that the drones are programmed to kill humans. As they talk, Sergeant Sykes, who is skeptical about Jack, tells him that the drone will track him down. But Malcolm has faith in Jack's humanity. He tells him that they brought down the Odyssey to extract NASA's compact reactor. He further tells Jack that they have a nuke in a drone, but the drone doesn't recognize them. They want Jack to program the drone to carry their nuke to the Tet to end the war, but Jack refuses to forcing Sykes to shoot him in the chest. He survives because of his bulletproof vest, but they threaten to shoot Julia, and the pursuing drone raises their security alarm, causing Malcolm's army to escape. They attack the drone, which shoots a scavenger before it is taken down. Jack tells Malcolm that more drones will come to hunt them unless they let him go, and he will call the attack off. Still, Malcolm frees Jack and Julia, and sends them into the desert area on his motorcycle, that Jack knows as the deadly radiation zone so that they can discover the truth for themselves. When their fuel runs out, Jack sends a signal from the Empire State Building's antenna to Victoria to call the search off and asks for his ship. Jack confronts Julia for her secrecy, and Julia finally tells Jack that she is his wife. The two were aboard Odyssey along with Victoria to investigate Titan, Saturn's moon, but after detecting an alien object, were reassigned to investigate, and were put in cryogenic sleep. The alien object was the Tet. She further helps him remember using their wedding ring. As the two hug, Jack's ship arrives on the scene, and Victoria sees their closeness and becomes jealous. Though Jack warns her against it, she refuses to open the door and reports to Sally that she and Jack are no longer an effective team. Jack tries to make her see reason, but Sally dispatches a drone that kills Victoria. As the drone goes for Jack, Julia shoots it down. Jack receives a call from Sally, asking him to take Julia with him and return to Titan, but he escapes with Julia on the jet. More drones pursue them, and a fight ensues. Jack leads them through various terrains to bring them down, but one drone pushes them into the desert of the radiation zone. Jack manages to shoot the final drone down, and the two crash in the desert. Waking up from the crash, Jack hears a signal and tells Julia to wait while he goes to investigate. From his broken sniper, he sees a broken drone, and a man arriving in a jet to fix it. When Jack tries to stop him, the man turns around and is revealed to be another clone of Jack. Jack tries to warn him to shut the drone, but his clone keeps him at gunpoint. And when Julia arrives, the clone gets distracted by his pre-war memories, allowing Jack to try to incapacitate him and break the drone. Jack knocks him out and pulls out the drone's power source. He discovers that Julia is shot during their fight. He places Julia in a safe location, ties his clone, and impersonates the clone to return to his base for medical supplies, finding it in a new location. Once inside, he's surprised to find his pictures with Victoria, taking his medical supplies, He's shocked to encounter a clone of Victoria, who kisses him. Jack tries to convince her to leave towards the surface with him, but she refuses. Jack returns, performs surgery on Julia, and takes her to his cabin, where she recovers. When Julia comes to, Jack tells her that he's realized that he's not the original Jack, but a clone, but he's always loved Julia. Julia tells him that building a house on the lake was one of the wishes of the original Jack, for them to spend their life together. She accepts him as the real Jack, and the two kiss. In the morning, Julia finds Jack suited up, 
who tells her that he needs to help the scavengers. They promise to return to their lake house once it's over. Together, they fly to Malcolm's base and are accepted by Malcolm and his gang. Inside Ravenrock, Malcolm tells them the Tet is an alien machine intelligence ship that is extracting the planet's resources. The moon's destruction caused catastrophic earthquakes and tsunamis on Earth, causing most of the human population to perish, followed by an invasion from thousands of Jack clones. The escape to Titan and humanity's victory against aliens are fictional, and the clone Jacks were brainwashed to kill humans. The survivors brought down the Odyssey spaceship for its nuclear reactor, with which they intended to create a bomb. When Malcolm saw Jack being curious about the book, he recognized his inner humanity, and when Jack rescued Julia, he was certain of it. Jack finally reprograms the drone to deliver the bomb to the Tet and is accepted as their commander. As they prepare to release the drone, other drones attack the base and a fight ensues, in which many soldiers are killed. As Julia leads a group of women and children into the shelter, they are almost shot by a drone, before they are saved by Sykes. Jack is knocked down and wakes up to Sykes' hand. Julia hugs him. In the aftermath of the fight, the captured drone is destroyed and Malcolm is gravely injured. Jack and Julia volunteer to deliver the bomb to the Tet manually. Though hesitant at first, Jack locks her in the sleep pod along with the bomb to deliver to Tet. On the flight to the Tet, Jack plays the Odyssey's flight recorder and learns that he is a clone of the NASA mission commander, Jack Harper, who was on a mission to explore Titan. Victoria was his co-pilot, his wife Julia a crew member, and Sally the Earth mission director. After the mission was interrupted by the Tet's arrival, they were sent to investigate it. But on their flight, Tet kept pulling at their ship, to cause it to crash. Jack decided to separate the control capsule to save the crew members in their stasis pods, and Victoria refused to abandon him. He and Victoria were captured and cloned. Jack enters the Tet and is interrogated by Sally on his original mission since his vitals indicate that he's lying. When he answers that he wants his species to survive, Tet allows him to enter. Inside he finds infinite clones of himself and Victoria. In their eventual meeting, Jack opens the pod to offer Julia, but Malcolm emerges from the pod. The two detonate the bomb, destroying the Tet before Tet's drone could hunt the last of humanity. Julia awakens in her pod by the cabin and sees the explosion in the sky. Three years after Tet's destruction, Julia and her and Jack's daughter are living at the cabin. The girl notices survivors arriving, along with Sykes, and with them, the clone that Jack had subdued in the desert, knowing the location of Jack's hut. This clone has also recovered the original Jack's memories, hinting at Jack and Julia's future together at the hut, and the movie ends.